up you guys? K Longer Felt here, back with another video reaction. And today we're gonna to be doing the SML video, Brooklyn Guy's Missing Wife. Now I'm pretty sure Brooklyn Guy is so, I'm sure he's so upset about this. I'm sure he's so sad and you know, he's missing his wife and wants to find her and all that. Uh, <laughs> uh, of course he doesn't, I'm sure. Um, yeah, but how does Karen go missing? Like who, who took her? I guess we'll find that out, but uh, I'm pretty sure Brooklyn guy is going to be having a great time <laughs> until they eventually find her, which I'm sure they will. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into Brooklyn guy's missing wife and see what happens. Let's go ahead. <laughs> Boy, why was this wet microphone in the toilet? Uh, Karen, that's not a microphone, it's a toilet brush. Why Speak are you the shaking microphone? it? Karen, get that out of my face. It smells oh, like. Oh, she is disgusting. Wait, you said it's a brush. Let me it, brush your hair. Get that get away from that me. It's right from here. all the piss water. It's a toilet brush. You use it to clean toilets. Why wouldn't you just flush, Boiny? Well, you use it after you flush in case there's leftovers. Ew. Ew. What do I do with it now? I don't Put it down. At this point. Oh, yeah, that's just great. That's great, Karen. You know, sometimes I think my life would be better without you. <gasps> you oh. don't mean that, <laughs> Boiny. <Yes, I> <laughs> Look how fast I'm nodding. That's how much I mean it. Oh. <laughs> oh. What the hell is that? Oh. Who are you gonna cut with that knife? <laughs> Buddy, help! Shut up! <laughs> what what was, that was that about? Was that a flash thing? Wait, wait. They just kidnapped my wife. Oh my god. What am I gonna do? Uh -oh. Woo! Yeah! Like I said, <laughs> oh, it's the best day ever. <laughs> Go find her. <laughs> oh man, hose. That was great. Well, I guess I should probably call the cops and report my wife. You are the cop. I let you call the cops. Yeah, guy, what's going on? Somebody kidnapped my wife. You what? Yeah, we were just sitting on the couch, minding our own business, and I was telling her how much happier I would be without her, and then all of a sudden, these two random guys broke in, and they threw a flashbang at us, and they kidnapped her. And then I went to the strip club to grieve. Well, why didn't you call us Grieve? First? Well, you know, <laughs> I had to go to the strip club, you know, to, to grieve. Wait a minute, guy, didn't you take out a huge life insurance policy on your wife oh. just a few days ago? Go. Well, yeah, but that's because she got in her third car accident, and I figured, hey, if she's gonna die, I might as well make this some money is... off of it. Oh, well, you know, mate, that does sound suspicious. <laughs> no, 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 you guys don't actually think I hired somebody to kill my wife just because I told her I would be happier without it, her, and I took out a big life insurance possible. policy on her, and I went to the strip club to celebrate. I, I mean, grieve. All right, mate, put your hands behind you. Yeah. What? No, 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 come on, I didn't even do anything. Well, I think you did. That guy. Oh, come on, this is so bogus. Order, 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 order. I am the order of order of And today we will be hearing the case of Brooklyn Guy, who is being accused of arranging the kidnapping of his own wife. But first I'd like to thank our courtroom sponsor for today, Dragon oh. City. Yes, that's right, today's what trial the hell? is sponsored because our federal funding is quite limited. So everybody, please direct your attention to the TV on the wall so we can watch an ad by Dragon City. Hey there, Dragon Masters. Uh, I'm back with more tales from Dragon City. Just wait till I tell you what's in the Dragon Realm. <laughs> My Dragon Empire has grown massively. We're not just talking about a few dragons here and there. We're talking a full-blown dynasty. And the Dragon City roster is constantly adding unique creatures. It's like every time I log in, there's a new Get dragon money, waiting SML. to join the Cody Get your Kingdom. Money. But being a Dragon Overlord isn't just about collecting. It's also about creation. The game's constantly evolving with even more magical habitats and buildings. And for the competitive players out there, the <clears> PvP <throat> battles are epic arenas built just for us. I been defending my title and climbing higher and higher on the leaderboard. If there was a Dragon Master crown, it'd be sitting right here in my little puppet head. And the game wouldn't be the same without their challenges that require some real mental power. There are realms within realms, each with mysteries that'll test the limits of your Dragon Squad. In the social clubs, trading dragons has become the new stock market. There are also alliances that feel like being part of an exclusive club where everyone's just as dragon obsessed as I am. And yes, I still sneak peeks at the other cities to make sure mine stays top tier. So if you haven't tried Dragon City yet, now's the time. Click the link Why are we the doing this in court? To join. <laughs> You'll get a special bundle with 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and the legendary Neo Izumi dragon to kick off your journey with a bang. Go build your own dragon empire now. Thank you, Dragon Woo! City. 
So, we can proceed with the case. So, did you kill your wife or what? No, Your Honor, I would never do anything bad to my wife. I mean, yeah, there are some days I wish it was legal for me to hit her, and there are some days I want to sit on a pillow on her Shut sweet, up! Sweet <laughs> feeling of her gasping last breath as she dies would be the greatest feeling in the world, but every husband you feels that go way to jail. sometimes, right? Mm, yes, I can agree. My wife can get on my nerves sometimes, too. But I'm a little confused, though. When you realized your wife had been kidnapped, you went to the strip club. Why didn't you call 911? Oh, well, I thought whoever kidnapped my wife would probably bring her back after five minutes because oh, she's whoa. annoying as hell. Also, <laughs> there was a stripper I've always wanted to pap, and I thought this would be my only chance to go to the strip club without my wife calling me asking me where I was. Well, it's just a little oh suspicious <laughs> that you didn't call the police. It's almost like I mean, she is annoying, but that still. Your wife had been kidnapped. Oh, come on, Your Honor. I would never celebrate anything bad happening to my wife. You can ask anybody. They'll tell you I love her. Like, Simmons, Simmons uh, don't I love my wife? Really? No. But don't, don't listen to Simmons. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Ask anybody else. The, right, everybody Penelope, will say no. Your daughter. <laughs> Penelope, would you say your father hates his wife? Would he ever cause harm to her? Oh, my dad hates her. He always says she's annoying, and he's always being mean to her. My dad likes to play Grand Theft Auto and run over women with a car, and he pretends it's his <laughs> wife. He would definitely hire someone to kill her. I, see. I mean, that's true, oh, but be a good on, daughter uh, and lie. Your Honor, I plead no. Uh, look, if you just give me a chance to clear my name, I promise I will do that. Hmm. Okay, I'll tell you what. I give you 12 hours to prove you are innocent. But if you can't prove you didn't do this, I will bang this gavel so hard and sentence you to the electric chair. Deal, Your Honor. Out of my way. <laughs> I want to get my nails done. Baby, we're puppets. We don't have nails. Oh, man. Hey, guys. You just walk into our house without asking or ringing the doorbell? Yeah, it's really He important. does that every time. Phone. What's going on? <laughs> well, my wife get kidnapped. Oh, no! Well, your wife got kidnapped. Who would do that? I don't know, but the worst part is everybody thinks Jeffy, I did it. Jeffy, what are you doing? I to prove my innocence or I'm going to get the electric chair. <laughs> well, what evidence do they have that you did do it? Well, none, really. But, I mean, hey, we need a problem, right? Okay, so who do you think would kidnap your wife? Who would want her? I don't know. I don't know who would want her. I don't even want her. I guess Maybe that's Mickey why Mouse? I'm a prime suspect. I don't think anybody hates my wife more than I do. Hell, maybe I did do it and I just don't remember. Don't say that. Did you do it? No, 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 no. I couldn't have done it. Well, is there anyone that hates you and is trying to frame you? Hates me? Me? I'm Brooklyn T guy. I carry these videos. Oh. Look at any top ten list. I guarantee I'm number one. And if I'm number two, it's right after this bozo. I'm like, come on. Look at him. I, mean, I carry those videos. Uh, no, nobody hates me. Where am I on the list? Oh, oh you're not oh. even top ten. You're not even right. top twenty. You're right at the bottom, right under Mr. Pig and Corn Dog. <laughs> okay, let's Dang. stay on track. Who do you think would kidnap your wife? I don't know. I don't even know where you go to hire goons to kidnap wives. Oh, hold on, my phone's ringing. Maybe my wife... Okay, guys, what I was trying to say before I ran out like a babbling idiot and definitely didn't forget my line is hopefully they let my wife go and that's her calling me. But I can see from the caller ID, it's not my wife it's my ex-wife uh -oh. Uh oh why would she be calling that's so wacky hello hey there deborah hey look are at we me. finally gonna he sounds like mr meeseeks we didn't have a lot of options for voices deborah what do you want are we finally gonna see his ex-wife you picked up penelope from school today yes i did deborah oh we did i can barely see her but she she what sounds ugly. To your wife and she got kidnapped. Oh, what a shame. Who would do that? Not me. Guys, I'm starting to think maybe Deborah kidnapped <laughs> my wife. Oh, so I, uh -oh. I was wondering if maybe. maybe you wanted to get back together. No. There's the motive. Hey, Deborah, I think maybe you should come over so we can talk about this. Oh, is it going to be food? Yeah, there's going to be food. Oh, is it going to be a lot of food? Yeah, a lot so Brooklyn food. guy's been telling the truth about his ex this whole time. Okay, just call oh. me when you get here. Actually, you know what? You don't have to. I'll hear the dump truck pulling in. <laughs> okay, guys, my ex-wife's on the way. Wait, why is she coming here? So well, he's been I'm telling the truth. I'm 99% sure she kidnapped my wife. So if we can just record her admitting it, I can show that to the judge. She is get the fat electric and chair. she Hopefully is he'll uh, give her a the electric <laughs> whale tank because I don't think she's going to fit in a chair. Okay, so what can we use to like, motivate her to, to tell us? Oh, food. Well, well, what kind of food does she like? Everything. Oh, any food. It doesn't matter. Anything with calories and fat, <laughs> a lot of fat, lard, mayonnaise, butter. I mean, you, she'll eat anything you put in front of her. She's like a goat. I saw her eat a can one time. Uh oh, like a can of food. Yeah, like a can of spaghettios. She couldn't open it, so she just ate the whole damn can. She just ate the whole can. Yeah, the whole thing. She has a stomach like a trash compactor. Okay, well, don't we? What the hell? Food? Yeah, let's go get the food. 
Okay, Marvin, I got the food. Oh, Whoa, that. Oh, is this for oh, all of us to share? I, I would, oh no, this is just for Deborah. I, I would she tell. Eat all this. <laughs> I mean, this is like a light snack. I would tell her. them She's anything they wanted to know. Food. I got five triple waffles oh, yes. with cheese and onion yes. rings and bacon, uh -huh. and I got a bowl of ketchup to wash down her plate right. of French fries, and I got a chocolate shake, and she's probably gonna complain because it's not filled all the way. I to would the top. fold and immediately. Just to be safe, I got two beefy five-layer burritos oh. and two chalupas from Taco Bell. I just don't understand how she can yes. eat all this. Oh yeah, she makes Joey Chestnut look like a chump. She's banned <laughs> from all eating competitions all around the world because of her bottomless. Oh stomach. my god! Do you think this food's gonna be good enough for her to admit that she kidnapped your wife? I hope so. Wait, Marvin, do you hear a dump truck back? I hope up? they didn't I waste all this food. <laughs> oh, Marvin. Marvin, look, oh. the ketchup's jiggling. She's off the dump oh truck. Oh my She's god. Heading this way. <laughs> She's coming. <laughs> what do we do? There's nothing you can do, Marvin. Okay, they she's are the door. So I'll wrong. answer it because she eats people when she gets startled. Hello? Hey, Brooklyn guy, it's me, Deborah. Oh! Hello, Deborah. Hey, it's good to see you. Have you lost oh. weight? No, I've gained 20 pounds, actually. Oh, well, you know, that's that's not surprising. Wait, is, is that a beverage from Taco okay. Bell? Yeah, I got hungry on the way oh. here, so I ordered a little snack. Uh, what? Thank you for that. Yeah, I ordered 12 Is that a mustache? Oh, so hungry. Oh, your normal order. Well, that's great, because you knew you were coming to dinner. So it's great that you ate first. Come on in. Ooh, we are starving. Oh, yeah? Those 12 chalupas didn't hold you over? Yeah. uh Ooh, oh. there's all this food for me. Yeah, I got you a this whole bunch of you just the fattest Ooh, junk. Ooh, we those triple whoppers. With cheese. And bacon. And onion rings, just like you like them. See, this is Penelope's mom. We need to be together. You know my favorite Whopper! Yeah, well, I think anybody could just look at you and guess it's the biggest one. I have a question. <laughs> when did her voice start sounding like Mr. Meeseeks? Well, ever since she saw that one episode of Rick and Morty, she thought it was really funny and decided to sound like that for the rest of her life. It's me! Look at me! I'm Mr. Meeseeks! Look at me! To be fair, it is a very good impression, but to keep that up for the rest of her life is quite a commitment. If only she could commit to losing weight that much. Okay, well, we have to get her to admit to kidnapping your wife. I know. I have an idea. Hey, Deborah, I think we should play some truth or dare. <laughs> You gonna dare me to eat all this food? No, because you're gonna do that anyway. I was gonna ask you a truth. <laughs> right, just pack it up. I'll take it home. No. Six hundred pounds. Okay, well that doesn't count. What I was gonna ask you is, did you have my wife kidnapped? No way. No. With the Mr. Meeseeks voice, I can't tell if she's being sarcastic or not. Like, was that serious? Oh, hold on, my phone's ringing. Who is calling me? Hello? Hey, Marty! What, Karen? Where, where are, are you? Are you safe? I've been at home. At home? But where have you been? The kidnappers dropped me off, Pointy. They said I talk too much. Do you think I talk too much? I don't think I talk too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah you do. Oh, my God! Shut up! Give me the phone! Damn! Baby, <laughs> listen, I'm sorry for flashbanging you. I, I, we were going to kidnap your wife and ask for ransom money, but holy shit, she's the most annoying <laughs> thing I've ever seen in my life. So good luck. Me and my partner, we're going to turn ourselves in. Wow, yeah, she's okay. pretty annoying, isn't she? Okay. Oh, uh, thank you. Oh, my she wife must be safe. very annoying. Wait, so your ex-wife well, didn't kidnap your mm -hmm. current wife? No, 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 no. She's fine. Wait, well... Oh. But that means I just bought my fat ex-wife five triple whoppers and a whole bunch of junk food and made her think I want to get back with her. Ooh, is this the part where I take all my clothes off? It, no. Please, hey, no. Deborah, I heard Krispy Kreme is offering three dozen donuts to the fattest person. I win! Ooh, <laughs> I've never seen her run that oh, fast. The table's shaking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna do that for a while. She's still running. She's about a seven on the Richter scale and a six hundred on a regular scale. Anyway, oh I'm gonna go tell God. the judge my wife is home. You might want to get under a table or something. Well, well, oh, well, guy, you actually did it. You proved you were innocent. I guess you're free to go. Hit hit. Hooray! Woohoo! Yippee! Thank you again to Dragon City for sponsoring this video. Don't forget oh. to click the link in the description for your special bundle of rewards. No. Um, <laughs> oh, who is your least favorite character? Um, wow. Um, my least favorite SML character. Uh, I mean, they have a lot of random characters uh, over time. I would say, I don't, I, don't, I don't remember his name, but the guy that was, um, he went up against Cody and I think the, the Fortnite uh, challenge or, or co competition. Or was it, was it was it Minecraft? 
I think it was Fortnite. The um, oh, I forgot his name. <laughs> but yeah, I would say him or maybe, maybe. Well, I, I don't hate Bully Bill, but he's not my favorite. Uh, so yeah, I would say those two, or or um, who's the who's the guy that that replaced Cody for like a little bit of time during during the um COVID? I forgot his name. The, the kid with the curly hair. He was like kind of annoying. He, he I, I don't know, but <laughs> but yeah, th those three. If you can remember who who those were, but. Yeah, this episode was just hilarious and ridiculous. Um, I cannot believe that Brooklyn guy has been telling the truth this whole time. Like, his ex-wife actually is fat and disgusting <laughs> and annoying. And, um, yeah, I, I, I thought that I thought this whole time that he was just being, you know, bitter and mean to her because they broke up. But, no, she's actually big and disgusting. Like, what? <laughs> like, she has a whole mustache and she's like... She ate 12 chalupas before she showed up for dinner. Like, who does that? <laughs> um, but if I was her, I would have packed up that food before I, before I went to Krispy Kreme. Because, I mean, who's going to let all those triple whoppers go to, go to waste? I mean, you can, you can pack them up, put them in foil or something, and eat them uh, throughout the week. Uh, the, the, the shake, the, the onion rings, the whatever else you bought. You, you could have... You could have divided that throughout the week and, and had a good time, okay? <laughs> I wouldn't have left all that food, okay? But yeah, um, but yeah, I cannot believe she actually does look like that. But, you know, I, I can see why Penelope, you know, doesn't talk about her that much. <laughs> um, and I see why Brooklyn Guy talks about her a lot because it, it was all true this whole time. We finally got to see Deborah. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, you guys, um, just ridiculous, just so stupid. Um, the, the sponsorship, you know, SML, get your money. I, I'm glad that, they, that they're getting more sponsorships over time. Um, but yeah, and of course, like I said in the beginning, Brooklyn Guy, of course, was going to celebrate his wife missing. And of course, the robbers brought her brought her back because she is annoying. I mean, her voice, she is a, she is a, a kind person from what I see, but she can be annoying. That voice, she can't cook. She doesn't clean. She doesn't have a job. She <laughs> she makes him do everything on top of having 110 jobs. So yeah, she's not perfect, but I mean, he, he could have did more to get her back. <laughs> but anyway, guys, um, a funny episode of SML. Make sure you look, guys like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know who your least favorite character is. And until next time, <laughs> be blessed, be your best, and keep down the stress. Bye, guys. <laughs>